hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be talking about growing in the Lord and what that looks like how can you grow in the Lord and everything related to that first off I do want to apologize for the air conditioner in the background if you can hear it because I can't turn it off and I just have to work <laughs> I just have to work with what I got and this is what I got so sorry about that you're gonna have to deal with that for a couple more months <laughs> um, but yeah that's pretty much all I have to say and without any more further ado let's just jump right on into this video let's just get cozy and let's just talk about our relationship with God since that's what I've been doing because my dorm room is cold but the first thing that we have to know straight off the bat is we are never gonna make it in our relationship with God and what I mean by that is like there's never a goal that we're trying to reach we always are gonna be growing until the day that we die that's just the reality of it and for some people they might just think oh I'm saved I've made it like I don't really have to do anything else but that's not the truth that we are all supposed to be at least striving towards growing in the Lord so just to clarify that we're all supposed to be growing in the Lord in one way or another but sometimes we can forget that like for me I <laughs> sometimes I'll master an area I think or I'm just like I feel like I got that I feel like Jesus has worked on me in that area we are good to go and then right when I master that area the Lord shows me a new area to work on and that's just the reality of having a relationship with God you're never done growing we always have to continue growing is the main basis for this video have you ever felt that you've been like stagnant in your relationship with God or stuck in your relationship with God because if you have which I'm assuming a lot of us have if you haven't you probably will but when you get into situations like that where you just feel stuck and you don't know where else you can grow and what else you can do one of the things that I take comfort in knowing is God is always working I don't know how many times I've preached this on my channel but God is always working even when we don't feel like it and there has been seasons where I've just been chilling and not doing anything and I'm just wondering what God is doing in that season but there's always a purpose he's always working behind the scenes whether we know it or realize it or not and that's just what I take comfort in knowing when I feel stuck and when I feel like I'm not going anywhere so many Christians miss that but I want to read a verse to you it's Hebrews 6 1 and it just talks about our relationship with God and us growing so it says therefore let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and a faith in God. What that verse basically means is the elementary teachings of what it's talking about is just what we learn when we're first saved and we learn about Jesus and who God is and the Trinity and being baptized and all of those things that are basic fundamentals of the Christian faith and those things are so important to learn and they're vital for everyone to make sure that they process and figure out for themselves however we have to grow up in our faith there's a time in our faith where we have to grow past that there's so many ways to do that and i'm going to tell you the first way that i think could help you there's so many ways but i'm going to just tell you one it's surround yourself in an environment that challenges you the problem with most christians and I'm not saying this is a bad thing at all. I love the church family and all of those things. However, for people like me that maybe were saved, they've grown up in church and they've been at church for a while, but they just kind of get acclimated to their church family and they hang out with the same people and there aren't they aren't being challenged at all. And I do love my church family and I'm not saying that they did that to me but I feel like I had that mindset where I was just comfortable in my environment and I wasn't really working on growing it wasn't their fault but it was completely my fault in my relationship with Jesus and that's why I do love being at the school that I'm at right now because not only are we surrounded by people of different denominations of Christianity 
and there's a lot of different mindsets and beliefs, but we're also required to serve in the community. For me, I'm going to be serving at a church, but I also have to attend a church of a different denomination or even ethnicity just so that we can get exposed and more comfortable with other people and other backgrounds. And I do really appreciate that because I feel like that's really what the Lord is helping me with right now is just challenging me with putting me into situations and into environments of people that aren't completely like me. Yes, my school is a Christian school, so there's a lot of people that are like me, but with the things that we have to go do and the experiences that we're required to have, I feel like that does help challenge me a lot. Next, the idea that I have for you is to study your Bible. And I'm not just saying read it front to back, even though that is great, but actually study it. And I'm so bad at this. I'm really not that good at studying my Bible. However, there's a few ways that you can really study your Bible, and these are some things that I do, which are reading passages slowly and multiple times, looking up original translations of words, because we read a word and have our own meaning to that word, but it could be different than what the original authors had intended for that word to mean, so that's a really important thing to do as well and asking other wiser people about the questions that you have because when you study your bible and really dig into it you're gonna have some questions i promise so asking other people that are in the faith that have matured in the faith those are good people to ask those questions too but i definitely recommend studying your bible and taking time to do that and if you have any suggestions for the rest of us please leave them down below because I need to work on that so badly. Another thing that I've learned a lot in my college experiences is learning about the spiritual disciplines. I'm going to leave a list right here of the spiritual disciplines just so that you know, but there are so many good ones and these are disciplines that we can practice in our own life and the purpose of them is just so that we can be formed to be more Christ-like and to have more peace and wholeness in our life, if that makes sense. But there's so many good ones, and I've practiced a few in my relationship with God, but I definitely can do more of them. And a lot of my classes, even here at my new school, they ask us to practice some of these spiritual disciplines, and I do really appreciate that they're challenging us in that way as well. The last suggestion that I have for you is to pray daring prayers. And this could be dangerous, so take this for what it's worth, but if you just feel like you're stuck and stagnant in an area or a place that you're at, then ask God to shift the things in your life or move you to a new area because He will do that. He definitely will. And He loves to challenge us and loves to grow us. So if you're feeling like you're stuck, pray a daring prayer. Try it out. See how it goes. Sometimes He just asking you to move across the country and you didn't even ask for it but it just happened that was me but <laughs> i do really appreciate the lord bringing me here even though i didn't daringly pray for that but those are some of my tips for you so i hope that this is somewhat helpful for you i know it's a pretty short video but i just wanted to share a little bit about what it means to grow in the lord and what are some good ideas to grow in the lord because some of us have already been a Christian for a while and we're kind of feeling like maybe we're not growing in a lot of areas and I know I felt that at times and I just thought it would be helpful to do a video like this for you guys so I hope you enjoyed it please comment down below if you have any other questions or any other tips for the rest of us because I'd love to hear them I'd love to have a conversation in the comment section about this topic because I love this topic. Like this video and make sure you subscribe down below and let me know if any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. So that's it. I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!